I'm sure that day, it's always a fun, day of fun here at the Speedway. Ready to go green, guys, ladies and gentlemen. So Don Lassard and Brian Obey are going to bring them down to the green flag from Barry Davidson. 15 laps here for the Niagara Auto Sales Pro 4 Truck Division. Look at this three wide into turn one. Banner on the bottom, Lassard in the middle, and Brian Obey on the top. Earhart in the 18, pushing Obey down that back straightaway. Coming around turn two, he found the bite already up in the second place. Kevin Obey, or Brian Obey in the 7A, gets it a little sideway. Earhart second and second. Banner trying to take away third. Brian Obey shifting that truck, and when he gets into it a little bit, that lets Earhart, and Earhart just turns him, totally cleans his clock, spins him right around. So, Obey will be sitting along the rail now. He'll back it up. The new leader will be Earhart, unless Barry Davidson throws the black flag at him. He's going to let that one go, maybe. Black flag in hand. Oh, he's showing him. He showed it to him, that's for sure. No more of that will be going on. He was pushing the 7A of Obey all the way down the front straightaway. Canard now, though, on the 64. I think the 18's got trouble as he finds himself. Rose most in the back of the pack. Now in Earhart's defense, Brian Obey is shifting, and when he gets off the gas there to make that shift, Earhart had nowhere to go as he's got it in one solid gear, just drove over Obey. So up front now, Don Lassard in the 64. Five is Kevin Obey in the 29 of Doug Banner. The 15 of Bacon and the 13 of Anthus coming together in turns three and four. The 15 of Bacon having trouble there in that truck. Your leader is still the 64 of Kennard. The five of Kevin Obey looking on the outside as they come into turns one and two. 15 right rear flat. Trevor Earhart with problems down the front straightaway as he's slow now into the first turn. That may bring out the caution unless he can get that truck off the surface. Kevin Obey, the new leader now. Sounds like transmission problems as the 18 of Earhart comes by. A shifting problem with that truck. The five of Kevin Obey, already five-time feature winner here in 2006. Takes him around, turns one and two. Kennard sitting in second, the banner in third. And here comes Johnny Lowe in the 51. Lots of ball of trucks in action tonight. Kevin Obey with about a five truck length distance over Gennard. Then back, it's Banner and John Lowe. So this is gonna set up a good battle here. Three of our top drivers gonna try and chase down Kevin Obey. The 51 of Johnny Lowe finding that extra bite on the outside, moving by the 29 of Banner. Now after the 64 of Kennard, he's looking on the outside, tracking down the five of Kevin Obey. He makes his way around turn two and four. There'll be eight laps to go. So if these guys can keep it together, we will wrap this one up. But what we need to know is if we get a caution, Brian Obey would certainly be a contender and get back into this. He's praying for a caution after that lap one problem. Johnny Lowe looking on the outside of Kennard as they head into turns three and four, trying to get that second place so he can track down the current leader, the five of Kevin Obey. We do have a yellow on the track. So Brian Obey, get your wish, Clinton. To be up here. Here we go. Seven laps to wrap this one up. Kevin Obey gets on it right away. And look at Doug Banner get to the inside of both Gennard and Lowe. Banner getting clipped there by the 64 of Gennard. Gennard getting. He's squeezing Banner along the wall. Banner able to break free, but here comes the 51 of Johnny Lowe trying to track down the five as well as the 7A of Obey on the outside. So Brian Obey and that 7A going to make up some ground now after that yellow helped him out quite a bit. And John Lowe now gets a shot to fight it out with Kevin Obey, the top two competitors here in 2006. Between them, eight victories so far. Five for Kevin Obey, three for Johnny Lowe. Johnny Lowe looking for number four. Obey able to keep ahead of him as a couple of truck lanes. This time by starter Barry Davidson, 10 laps down, five to go. And listen to Brian Obey burping that throttle as he tries to get it in and out of gear. In that Army Green, number 7A, Doug Banner gets loose right in front of them in the second turn. Still, Kevin Obey out front of John Lowe and Dave Gennard. 
So he'll be able to maintain that lead over the S or the 51 of Johnny Lowe, closing up a little earlier, but now will be able to pull away. Canard still, that 7A not sounding too good as he makes his way by me on the front straightaway, finding himself in fifth place, but a further distance away from the leader, the five of Kevin Obey. So Brian Obey now finds himself back in about fifth position trying to make up some ground on Goodyard and Peterson. And now he gets on the inside of both those trucks to try and get his way up into third pot. Can't do it just yet. Kevin Olvay and John Logo that. Oh, look at Peterson take a hard right turn right off the speedway. So Peterson and the six find himself right back up. Obey and the five still leading over the 51 of Johnny Lowe. The 7A now moving up into third place. So shifting as he comes by me on the front straightaway. Obey able to maintain the lead over Johnny Lowe as they head into turns three and four. Kevin Obey quickly getting to the bottom of this one as he's got only two, Lord, well now says one on the counter. Obey over the wall there, almost coming to the touch the wall, Clinton there. Sorry to cut you off behind you in the action. He slides her hard over turn four as the leader makes his way now into turn three. Brian Ove with damage to the right front. Here comes Checkers for his brother Kevin. He'll take another win here in that number five. John Lowe will finish second. So Kevin Obey is seen when he's being part of the new Hummerstone Speedway. So the unofficial top five, the winner is the five of Kevin Obey. Our, he'll be celebrating his birthday today with a victory. In the K51, it'll be Johnny Lowe. Johnny Lassara driving the number 64 was third. The 13 of Rob Mantis fourth. And the number 29 of Doug Banner unofficially fifth. So... Another fine run here tonight on this beautiful Sunday night as we get ready for our sportsman feature. Track conditions will be superb for them here tonight. So no doubt look for a very quick sportsman race coming up. As he throws his hat on, let's give a big hand to six feature win of the season, the number five of Kevin Obey. So uh, good run tonight. Are you going to rub one in here? No, or, uh, no. Uh, he was coming though. You know, brother Brian uh, suffering a little uh, collision there on. Worked his way back to third, but wasn't able to track you down. We're hoping he would, so he could make a race brotherly love on the end. You know. Yeah, I was hoping he was going to get me there, and then, but uh, you know, better truck's going to win. Uh, I got to take my crew. You know, a and Mobile, Brian's Tire. You hooked me up with some wicked tires. I'm getting an awesome bite out there. This track is awesome. I love it. I love being in the window circle. Thank you, everyone. Well, there you are. Yeah, thanks to our sponsor, too. Brian's Tire. Hooked them up with some great t uh, tires. Obviously, six uh, feature wins, and still halfway through the season to go. I'm going to keep pushing it harder and harder every race. Ah, uh, there you are. Let's give a big hand to number six, or number five, Kevin Obey with six feature wins. The better of two trucks, he says, over brother Brian in the 7A. And second victory for the weekend after winning last night over at the Merrittville Speedway. So our congratulations to Brian Obey, or Kevin Obey, and happy birthday, sir, from Humberston Speedway. Last call for 50-50 tickets also. $675 and growing, so... One more time, ladies and gentlemen, nice round of applause, please, for Kevin Obey. And up next will be our 25-lap Trails and Incorporated Sportsman feature, and here's the way they're going to line up. In the 13 out of St. Catharines, it's Dennis G. and Cohen on the outside of row number one, the triple seven of Tyler McPherson. Row number two, the 88 of Don Spies out of Welland, and the 2K of Rob Knapp out of St. Catharines. Row number three, the 84, and it's Paul Gabori. Paul is out of Welland, the 99C of Nick Cupola out of Thorold. 
Door number four, the 64, and that's John Kaz out of Welland, and, and the 21 double J of Jim Johnstone out of Niagara on the Lake. Door number five, out of Port Coburn, the number five, that's Dave Dykstra and the 11Z, last week's winner, that's Darren Zuppi out of St. Catharines. Five. Door number six, driving car number 108 out of Port Robinson, our current point leader, and that's Billy Bleach, and he has the...